for today we have the Norning by Rocky Patel. It originates from Nicaragua. We have a wrapper that's a Costa Rican Maduro. The size is a whopping Toro Grande, which is a 6x58. The filler is Dominican and Nicaraguan, and the binder, believe it or not, is from Mexico. The Norning gets its name from Eric Norning, who is a famous pipe maker in Denmark, who makes no less than 50,000 pipes a year. This collaboration was helped along by Nestor Placencia, who was in charge of blending the tobacco to make this infamous cigar. And in turn, Rocky Battelle also took hand in designing some pipes for Eric Nording. But enough about that. Let, let's have let, let Billy take it over. Here you go, Billy. <sighs> okay, thank you. God, that boy can talk, I swear. Billy probably talks in his sleep. Okay, uh, well, he pretty much filled you in and everything. Uh, he did not tell you that, that we got most of the information of my discount cigar.com and from rockypatel.com that we got most of the information from. Okay, with that, let's take a look at it. Let's take it out the wrapper. And this comes in different sizes. It also comes in a torpedo and a total grande. The torpedo is a 54 by 4 the grande, which is I have a 6 by 58. And if you just look at that, that's a good cigar. The Norting, you know, you, you can find inspiration anywhere. Who know that a pipe maker and a guy that makes cigars can collaborate and make some good stuff? Oh, that. That hits the nose. That is fragrant. Oh. That's no. Oh, that's. Leather. Leather. A little cedar. Got a little earth. It's got a little bit of a. You can see it. A, almost funky taste. It's funky smell. Oh, that is something else. Oh, oh, oh. Ooh, that, that's making my mouth water. This is Rocket Battelle never disappoints. All the years I've been smoking, I've never had a bad Rocky Patel ever. Ever. And that's saying a lot. I've had a couple of bad other ones. But, uh, not Rocky Patel been very consistent I mean I never had any burn problems anything but Let, let's I'm gonna cut it and see what we get no you know what let's go let's go old. let's go new school we're gonna use the hole punch let's try that let's do that hole punch you want to try to get it as close to the center as possible you want to push and twist with slight pressure because if you've got a good hole punch, it's going to do most of the work for you. You don't have to force it and jam it in there. Just twist a little and push in a little and you should get a plug. Oh, there it is. Plug. Okay, let's see. Let's do the cold draw and see what we get. Oh. Mm. Ooh. Excuse me. Almost like a bread. 
cinnamon bread. Kind of yeasty, kind of bready, but a bit of a sweetness on it, like a cinnamon or so. Oh, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Wait, wait. Let's just light it up. Let's just go for it. Eh, let's do this one. Okay, got a toast in the foot. Guys, don't know. This is one way to light a cigar. Lightly toast the foot. Notice I'm trying to go in a circular motion. I'm turning the cigar a little bit as I go. I want to wake up that tobacco. And when it starts glowing, you get a little smoke. You know. See that? Blow on it. That's lit. Now, if you don't know anything else, I like to finish off with a match. That is delicious. It's got that um Oh it's got a bit of a spicy note now. It's kind of a bit of a leather. Bit of a sweet finish on it. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna smoke about a third of this or so, and I'll come back. Oh, I I know this doesn't change taste consistent. Let's see, I got something I want to try with this. It's a little bold and daring, but you know, no risk, no rewards. So come on back and uh, we'll explore together. Or if you have an idea, if you've smoked one of these before, leave something in the comments, okay? Be right back. And yeah, we are back. We are back. Listen. My goodness. Uh, as snorting Rocky Patel is a good cigar. So we get the notes of the leather, and I got some sweetness in it, and, and a bit of a spicy kick, but not a, a very prominent kick. It was kind of like, hey, 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 I'm here, hey, 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 hey. It was nice. Uh, first time smoking it, will I buy this again? Oh, yes, absolutely. Smoked this and I thought, oh, what would I, what would I drink with this? And then the first thing you want to do is you want to get the things you know, like a... <laughs> They made this Chevis Regal. Now, if you don't know about this, you have to look at a later video or ask an older person. Young people don't know about Chevis Regal. It's a long story, but I said, no, no, no. I'm not going to use this one. I went into my various cabinet of spirits 
and I pulled out something that I forgot I had. Ready? You're never going to guess what it is. One, two, three. Buffalo Trace White Dog Mash number one. I'm going to say that again. Buffalo Trance White Dog Mash number one. Some of you people are going, what? Yeah. Buffalo Trance White Dog mash number one this are you ready corn rye and malted barley 62 and a half percent alcohol by volume so that makes it what i'm gonna say 125 proof that's the real deal you know anything about whiskey mash you know what this is close to not gonna say the word but here it is we're gonna open this and we're gonna use put it on ice Except like this to tame the beast. Sounds good. Oh yeah. Oh, 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 oh yes. Yes, yes, yes. That smell alone in the kitchen. That bouquet is nothing to mess with. Put that aside. Don't get it next to the plane. We're, we're just gonna. We're just gonna just. We're gonna take a sip of this. Yes, that will wake up every cell in your body. That is white dog. We're going to pair it with this. Get the sweetness. Get the leather and the spice notes. Then we got a light. I'm um, sorry, white dog. <sighs> that has a kick. It lets you know it, it's there comes in a room, kicking over chairs, knocking things over, but then it sits down and it keeps quiet, quiet. It's got a very nice sweetness to it. Mmm, it's cleansing, it's delicious. Ah. Yes. Yes. In an odd way, those two go together. Can't explain it. You're just going to, well, I'm going to have to explain it because I'm on a video. You've got the kick of this, but it's a, not a hard kick. It's not a soft kick. It's letting you know it's there. 
It goes down smooth in the beginning. The middle is where you get everything. And then on the end, it's fine. You have the bold leather, leather. You've got the spice. You got the sweetness of this. You got the boldness of this, the crispness, the smooth finish. Done. That's a combo not for you first time cigar smokers. You're going to have to have some experience to deal with this one. And with that, I'm going to close, finish this, and sleep for the next three days. As usual, I'm going to appreciate you coming by. If you get a chance, just karate chop that notification and kung fu that subscription so you will know the next time I do a video. This is Billy the All-Star saying, to your health, to your wealth, to your happiness, and all the joy for you and your loved ones. And I'm gonna sign off, and I'm gonna say as always, if you cannot be nice, for the sake of all of us, and the rest of us, just be cool. Thank you for coming and get a chance. Look at some more videos I have down here and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.